Hello everyone, I just want to show again this um, MPP Solar 24 volt, 4,000 watt stackable inverter right there. It's a PIP 4024 MSP. Um, I've been very pleased with this. I've not had any trouble with it at all, none. I have a pair of them. Uh, I've got this one covered up. They have parallel boards in them. So that as we grow our house project here, it's already ready to expand. I can make sure I can get the same model so they'll match. But I wanted to show here on the on this right now, it's about midday. I've been at full float for many hours now. The batteries are fully charged. And I'll show you here the, it's, it's right now with four panels outside. It's running right around 1,000 um, watts or one kilowatt is coming into it right now. This is a 230 volt. It can be set for 220 or 240 volt, 50 or 60 hertz. Um, we have more panels over here stored, an additional eight panels as we're ready to grow the system. I just really wanted to express how pleased I've been with this unit. I've not had any trouble at all. Um, in the morning, it charges fast. Um, I go to float. You see I'm at float now, and it's bypassing straight and using the power straight from the solar panels, straight into operating the things that I'm running right now, which are lights, a laptop, a refrigerator, a TV, um, outside I've had an air pump going, airing up some tires. Just They've had a grinder going outside right now. I've been in here with a, a half inch hammer drill, drilling through these concrete walls, running some uh, conduit through in some places. And we have stayed at, we've stayed at full float and um, took nothing from the batteries. It's consuming directly across and we have very minimal load on it. I think in the menu it showed something like a 2% load. Let's see here. Yeah, a 2% load's all that's on it. So you guys, I just, again, I want to express that. Now, I also want to express something else. I've been in uh, talks with MPP Solar and they're having a problem in mainland China. Uh, MPP Solar and Voltronics is in Taipei, Taiwan, and they're having a problem over in mainland China that these are being cloned, they're putting inferior parts in them, and in fact they're even putting MPP's name on them and trying to pass them off as MPP units. Now we all know that mainland China has um, a beef with Taiwan, so they'll probably try to do anything they could to really hurt them. And so some of you out there say, oh, I bought an MPP solar inverter and it was junk. It went out on me all. You may have got a clone and you only thought you got an original. Let's think about what it takes to make a clone. They can make this case identical, super easy. They can make that little decal right there, super easy. They can make this decal, super easy. I mean, anyone can. Um, they can make up a warranty sheet that looks like it's from them. They can do these things and you buy it and then when you get ready to warrant it, nothing's gonna happen because it's not the company you thought it was. So it's sad that that's happening. This is what uh, President Trump's talking about China, stepping on intellectual rights of other people's products. It even happens from within. They're not just taking from outside like other countries, France, Germany, the U.S., Canada, and taking intellectual rights. But they're even taken from successful companies, even from within. And um, so y'all think about that when you're buying. Contact MPP Solar directly. So if you want to buy one of these, I suggest you go direct to them. They have direct sales team. It's um, sales at mppsolar.com and their website is mppsolar.com 
and deal directly with them. I'm telling you, there's a lady named Peggy. Contact Peggy. She'll take good care of you. And don't be scared when these units, but as I've told in previous videos, don't max out the load on it. That's the main thing. Don't, these things cannot run just a super heavy duty cycle. Almost any brand can't. You've got to leave some room for it to relax. So I just want to cover that again. I hope that maybe this will help you guys and um, maybe help a decision if you're trying to think budget of these units that cost thousands of dollars out there. Is it worth it? Well, you make your own choice, your own budget, your own situation. But for me, this works out for us. They have a low volt series they came out with for the US and Canada and Puerto Rico. Those are called the LV series, um, which has basically got almost like two of these built inside. It's a, about a 70 pound unit. Um, it's it's very powerful it's split phase it's got uh you know two two legs coming out of it they can can be combined for 240 volt for there in the u.s it can even run a 208 leg off of it as well those are already uh ready to parallel they're ready to stack if you need more you can stack up the three of them and get uh, 15 kilowatts out of it each one of those is five kilowatts uh, that's a pretty impressive unit. It has uh, dual charge controllers inside that can set up two separate PV arrays and it can decide which one is uh, working better at the time and adjust for that. It's a pretty smart unit. It's grid tie that you, you can tie it to not net meter, but you can set it to get charge off the grid if you need it to. Say your solar is not putting out enough and you do still have a grid there, you can charge. It has dual chargers in it, dual everything. It is basically like two inverters built in one box. Y'all check that out, the LV5048. Check that one out as well. I hope maybe that'll give you some good information and I hope everyone out there is having a blessed day. Thank you.